Hello dear students, let's see this question from heat transfer and this question is a combined concept of conduction and convection. Chali dekhte Ambient air flows over a heated slab having a flat top surface at y is equal to 0. So ye aapka ek slab diya hua hai question mein ek plain slab hai aisa. And uh, this is your y direction let's say okay. And this is your y is equal to 0. Iske upar ambient air flow kar raha hai. Ambient air is flowing on it. Okay. The local temperature in Kelvin profile within the thermal boundary layer is given by this. So temperature Kelvin me diya hua is question me or kisi ek location pe. Suppose maan liji ye location hai. Is location pe aapko temperature profile diya fluid ke andar. Temperature as a function of y is given how much? 300 plus 200 e to the power of minus 5y. Okay. Where y is the distance measured from the slab surface in meters. So y is the slab surface measure kiya ja hai, meters. Mein. Conductivity of air de diya hai and that of slab de diya hai. So conductivity of air kitna diya hua hai? 1. Watt per meter Kelvin. And conductivity of slabs diya hua hai aapko. How much? 100 watt per meter Kelvin. Now, Magnitude of the temperature gradient dt by dy within the slab at y is equal to 0. You have to ask the temperature gradient in the slab ke under at y is equal to 0. Par. Means, let's see. I am making two molecules. One molecule is this and one molecule is this. So, this molecule is this. This is the molecule of slab. This is yellow This is the molecule of slab. This is yellow color molecule. Okay? And this green color molecule is the molecule of air. So, you are asking the temperature gradient slab k y is equal to 0 in slab. Ke andar. Okay. So, how do you remove this? Look. First of all, please pay attention here. Slab se jo heat from this molecule is coming out of this molecule. Who is coming out of it? It is coming out of conduction. It is a solid body. The green color molecule I have made is the ambient molecule. And this molecule is stuck on the surface. That is due to no slip condition. So, this heat is taking, this heat is receiving. How is it receiving? This heat is what? This is also conduction only. Okay. Both are what? Conduction. So, by applying energy balance, that is what? Surface energy balance. What you will get? From surface energy balance. At interface. So, लगाइए यहाँ पर interface पे. Conduction से जा रहा है, conduction से आगे भी जा रहा है. तो rate of conduction is given by the Fourier law. That is what minus k of first you will apply here. So k of what slab. Then dt by dy because heat transfer in the y direction at y is equal to zero in slab is equal to minus K of air dt by dy at y is equal to 0 in the air. Okay. So, this is the surface energy balance I have applied at the interface here between these two molecules. Okay. Now, you can see the conductivity is known in both the cases. But this gradient you are not knowing. But you can see the temperature profile of air is given like this. So, how to get dt by dy from here? So, you can see dt by dy. What is dt by dy? You solve it, you will get 0 plus minus 5 into 200 into what? e to the power of minus 5y. But I want dt by dy in the air at y is equal to 0. So at y is equal to 0 means put y is equal to 0 here. What you will get? Minus 1000 Kelvin per meter. You got it? Now put the value here. So minus conductivity of slab is how much? 100 into dt by dy at y is equal to 0 in the slab that you have to calculate actually is equal to minus k of air. How much is conductivity of air? 1 into what? This value is given minus 
1000 okay minus 1000 okay so so what you will get here dt by dy at y is equal to 0 in the slab you is equal to so minus minus plus minus that is minus 10 kelvin per meter but in the question what it is asked that you have to tell the magnitude of the temperature gradient so this you can see this is the direction okay so if it is written magnitude there is no need to write minus you will not only write what is equal to 10 kelvin per meter this is your answer okay we can see it one in one page let's see this question from heat transfer so one dimensional steady state conduction takes place through a solid whose cross sectional area varies linearly in the direction of heat transfer to ek solid hai jiska area jo hai wo linearly vary kar raha hai okay uh, but area ke bare mein koi information nahi diya hai to main usko aise kuch hona deta hu area increase kar raha hai let's say increase kar raha hai to maine usko area se bana diya ye ek solid hai okay whose area is increasing linearly so heat transfer is like this in this direction okay let's say uh, this is your you can take this as x direction okay like this so area is varying linearly in the direction of heat transfer so let's say this is a di x direction area of cross section here is let's say some area is here the area of cross section i'm taking at what the area is given as what linearly variation so i'm taking a is equal to some bx okay so you have to find out what the temperature distribution in the solid so how to find out temperature distribution the general method is what which is always applicable you just take an element at a location x i am taking an element of dx okay this is the basic method at location x i am taking element of what dx okay so here let's say the rate of conduction is qx at the location x and here it is qx plus dx so applying energy conservation what you will get what you will get e dot in minus e dot out plus e dot generation is equal to e dot stored so here it is given steady state it means this term is what zero no generation this term is zero so e dot in minus e dot out is equal to zero that is e dot in is equal to e dot out means this is coming and this is leaving so you can write it like this qx minus qx plus dx is equal to 0 okay now qx rate of conduction at location x minus you if you open it by taylor series expansion you will you will get this qx plus del del x of qx plus square cube like that and they have smaller term you can neglect in that so this is by taylor series expansion is equal to 0 this will be cancelled minus del del x qx dx is equal to what zero now this qx this you can write by the help of fourier law of conduction that is what minus del del x minus k area in the direction of x the area is varying and that is given by dx so that is k into what dx del t by del x and dx is outside okay so from here you can see this minus minus plus take out k constant because k is constant take it out 
and take out B also, you will get what? I can now I can write del in the place of del I can write D because uh, there is no other variable. So dt by, d by dx x dt by dx into what? What you will get here? K B into dx. So just take this that side. You will get what? D dx x dt by dx is equal to what? Zero. Now you integrate it. Integrated once, what you will get? You will get x dt by dx is equal to some constant c1. You can write it what? dt by dx is equal to c1 by x. Okay. Now again integrate it. You will get what? t is equal to c1 ln x plus c2. Or even C2 are arbitrary constants, you can calculate by given the boundary condition. But here, boundary condition is not required. So, what is the temperature distribution here? Temperature distribution is what? Logarithmic. So, answer goes to what? Logarithmic. Okay. So, answer is what? Logarithmic.